A collateralized debt obligation, or CDO, is a structured financial product backed by a pool of loans. When a retail or commercial bank approves loans such as mortgages, auto loans, or credit cards to individuals or businesses, these loans are then sold to an investment bank. The investment bank repackages these loans to form an investment product called the CDO, which is then sold to investors. The principal and interest payments made on the loans are redirected to the investors in the pool. The promised repayment of the loans in the pool is the collateral that gives the CDO's value, hence the term collateralized. If the underlying loans go bad, the bank transfers much of the risk to the investor, which will typically be a large pension fund or hedge fund. As a result, banks slice the CDO into various risk levels or tranches. Senior tranches are the safest because they have the first claim on assets if some of the underlying loans default. Junior tranches are riskier and therefore offer higher interest rates to attract investors. During the 1990s and early 2000s, most CDOs were backed by a diverse group of loans, which limited the risk of default and gave the instruments a reputation for stability. But around 2003, the housing boom led a number of banks to use subprime mortgages as their main source of collateral. With the popularity of CDO skyrocketing, home lenders received a steady stream of cash and and as a result, often extended credit to high-risk borrowers. When the real estate market stalled and mortgage defaults started to rise, CDO issuers and their investors suffered enormous losses. While CDOs offer the possibility for attractive fixed returns, the fallout from the financial crisis has led to greater scrutiny regarding the loans that serve as their collateral.